from here is when I open my guard, break in his posture, swim underneath, use that foot as a pendulum, retract the foot to the sweep. Remember what we said was doing um, an arm bar series? Yeah. The only reason I taught the pendulum is so you understand this, the mechanics of this. So from here, I've got the arm bar. He's here. I throw myself here, put myself under. So he's landed on his head. You don't have to let go of this arm, of this leg. You can finish it from here. And had I had an ade or a mark, I'm going to keep the leg. Because I know they're going to scramble and try and get back on the top. But here he can't scramble. And I've got enough to finish the arm bar from here. If he's managed to hold on to his hand, maybe I will need to release to start thinking about which break I'm going to finish with. But the movement's the same, guys, as in terms of the pendulum. I reach on top, I've been stacked. Hand goes underneath, I put myself where underneath him. He can't be underneath himself. So if he follows me around, his hips go over his head, I am on top. This is what's happened to him. He's being armbarred, he's being dragged underneath himself. He falls down, the armbar the arm bar finish. I'll do it to Dan one more time. Watch, don't watch what I'm doing. Watch what happens to Dan. Gone for an armbar. He's just doing a forward roll, isn't he? And the only reason he's done that is that I've taken his centre of gravity underneath himself. He's got a roll. His head is being dragged underneath his body. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Want to give it a try? Yeah. On three, one, two, three.